in San Elisario neighborhood tonight are dealing with sewage in the streets as well as in their own homes and yards. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Monica Cortez. Andy has the night off. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto joins us right now in the control room. And Skylar, what can you tell us what caused all of this in the first place? Monica, the Lower Valley Water District pumping out sewage that spilled into neighborhoods. Now the cause of that is a failed sewage pump causing frustration for many residents. It's not the first time. It was two, three years ago. It happened before. The Lower Valley Water District was called out to a San Elisario community on Gruya Drive, where a temporary sewage pump went out in the neighborhood, causing a backup. The Water District says they were doing infrastructure work a few months ago, and now residents are dealing with the aftermath. So what we have to do is make sure that the lift stations before this one are filling this one up too fast and the ones uh, after this one can pick up uh, the, the extra load of, of the uh, raising uh, wastewater. General Manager Gerald Grijalva for the Lower Valley Water District says the water district was notified on Sunday and they immediately got a replacement pump to move the sewage out of the area. I called and they sent people right away. They sent the trucks and started to clean up and I came out at 5.30 in the morning and they were taking out water. For us, it didn't start happening until later. Garcia also says when the sun shines and gets hot, the smell lingers inside the house. Yesterday in the morning at 7, 8 a.m., the water started to come out more and it smelled bad. My nephew's house, it's the same. The water was all the way to the front and he couldn't leave. When our photojournalist was out there in the neighborhood, trucks with water pumps left before five in the evening and witness crews spreading powdered chlorine onto the leftover flooded areas. Now over a dozen homes are affected. One of those even experiencing damage to their driveway and their yard. Now Grijalva added that they self-reported this failure to the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality so they don't face any violation. Now he also is advising residents to never toss or flush flush non-biodegradable items into the wastewater system. In the control room, I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News. Thank you, Skylar. For